Today is Saturday. Amazing day. Amazing day in Harlem. Let's see what we can do today. All right. Let's put some inspiration. Old stomping grounds, the shrine. All right, this is where I get my haircut, right here. Right there. All right. All right. I'm about to get a haircut from Luke the Barber, right here. All right, let's see what we're about to get into. Got to stay fresh, you know? This is the thing about Harlem, right? You cannot afford to look dusty. You can't. It's so much pressure, man. All right, let's go get a haircut. All right. Luke is back, but he's got two people ahead of me, so I'm gonna see what I can do. Beautiful day though, it's an amazing day. So I'm still patiently waiting for my cut right now. So I figured, you know what? Since I got some time to kill, let me drop some knowledge bombs for you guys. So if you've ever been to New York City and somebody ever tells you, let's get a shrine, let's get a shrine, a shrine up in Harlem, don't go there on a Saturday anytime after 10 p.m. Especially if you're female. I, I don't know, unless you like you know, a lot of attention, but there's what they call hyenas. Okay, after 10 p.m. it turns into a hyena fest, right? They call it Swahili, uh, they call it Mathis, okay? So stay away and shrine after 10 p.m. Happy hour is cool, like awesome happy hour. Come through, happy hour, no problem. After 10 p.m., forget about it, bullshit. All right, so Luke the Barber. Let's look right there. All right, he's about to do a haircut. Stay fresh. Go on. Alright. Alright, Luke. You ready? Yeah. Alright, say what's up to my audience. What's up? How you doing? Okay, good. This is this is my barber. I never cheat on this guy. Because he does a good job. Alright. Another satisfied customer? You satisfied? Yeah? Good. I think we're good. Sure. So guys, haircut is done. I'm a satisfied customer. So next move is I'm gonna get something to eat. Of course, my favorite spot over there, Lennox Lounge for the old school guys. Shut down, man. Done. Crazy. When in Harlem, come to Lolo's. Amazing seafood. All right. Right off the bridge.
waiting for the food at Lolo's. This is inside of Lolo's. Right, you know what? Let me show you around, okay? Follow me. Alright. Yeah, check it out. Alright. This is the inside of Lolo's right now. It's amazing. Alright, this is it. This is what it looks like inside. First stage. Go outside. Alright. Ah, oh, amazing. See, I like the outside more. Check it out. Oh, that's dope. Huh? See? And there's a little bar right here. Yeah, pretty dope. <laughs> so I just ordered. What did I order again? What did we order? The chicken dip. Chicken dip? Ribs. Ribs. Jerk ribs. Jerk ribs. That's what it is. Wings. Oh, and the wings. Amazing. Jerk ribs and the wings. Good. I believe we all need to be financially independent. Number two, you complaining, you have to be financially independent. Because let's, let's keep it real, like, no one cares. No one cares. You have to care for yourself first. You need to change your mentality. It starts right there. I'm gonna try and change my mentality. Hopefully, I'm gonna inspire one of you guys to do the same thing, all right? All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'm gonna head out to Brooklyn, and let's see what we can get. You know, hopefully I can get some inspiration in Brooklyn, talk to some people who are gonna inspire me today. So I'm gonna try and order some food. I don't know what kind of food they have, but we'll see. Apparently they're doing some kind of construction I don't know about. See, goes to show you I haven't been here in a minute. Alright, see you in there. looking pretty good in there. Um, I think I'm ready to eat. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's up, what's brother? Up? How are you? Say what's up to my fans. Hey, what's up? <laughs> who, who are your friends? Are you no, Facebook Live? Just, just say you own the place. That's it. Just say you okay, own. I own the place. Good. That's right. it. Yeah. That's all they need to know. Okay. All right. Good all right. to see you, man. Anytime. 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 The ladies can come. They drink for free. You know, whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not true. You gotta pay, ladies. You gotta I'm pay. Kidding, They're kidding. gonna make some money. I'm all right, Madiba. This is it. This is the inside. Time to get some. Oh, 
Big bro, introduce yourself. Patrick, send you. What's good, man? Yo, so thank you so much. So this guy just inspired the hell out of me, man. So I was telling him about me getting something like this started on a small scale. And what did he say? He's like, don't play small. When we come out of Africa, there's nothing small about that. So don't be shy, don't play coy. You know what I love? You said, you said, um, the people who want to play it small, what do they stay? Uh, they stay in the village. Yeah? <laughs> Even there, you don't play small. <laughs> it's a global village. So what a kid is doing in America, I can do in a small village. But what makes me unique is where I come from. You know, it used to be. You can only compete with people with the same resources as you, but now it's... Hey, you have the same thing I have. Let's see who has the real talent. You know, let's see who can put in the hard work. Focus with the man. Hard work, man. Hard work. That's all it takes. You know? But you know, you, you came in with your energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, no more thinking small, never, ever. The only reason why I have you on camera right now is because, number one, you're a good actor, number two, you're really good on camera, and number three, you're gonna school me on a whole lot about where I want my life to go. And here's the question I have for you. At what point in your life did you realize it's time to think big as opposed to thinking small? So, you have to know they are dreamers and then they are people who are content. Okay. Uh, I've always been a wonder. So since I was a little boy, I knew there was something beyond those hills. You know, beyond the village. I knew there was <laughs> No, no, honestly. I'm not laughing at your village. Funny how every African must have a village. Yes. Everyone has a place. That's yes. a place of origin. You yes. know where you come from. Yes. The reason why I laugh, right? The reason why I laugh, brother, okay. is because number one, Brother Patrick. Earlier part of my life, I lived in the village. So I know the struggle, and I know how easy it is to just be content in a place where it seems comfortable, and I know how scary it is to be stuck in that level. Because I know people who are still at that level, and they're stuck at that level, and they don't know how to get out. What, what would you say to somebody who's trying to get out? What's the first thing you have to do? I mean, the first thing is to have a dream. We all have a dream as young boys. Boys and girls, you have a dream and you want to get out. Right. That's all the risk to that. You know, there is that good saying that it's okay to look back, but you can't go back. It's okay to look back, but you can't live in the past. You can't. So, how do you use that to prepare you got education, that's most important. You might not be what you think you need. Yeah. People, you got education, that's most important. Yeah. School, school. What you do with it is up to you now. School of Art and Arts Education. What I mean by that is, there are certain times where, you know, shit was rough, you know? But I think I learned from that. Actually, the most recent book that I just read, it's called The Obstacles Away. You read a lot of books, actually. Give me a couple of books that I should be reading. I like to read the like characters, like if you're gonna read Chekhov uh, or, or if you read some Russian words, because we actually get to understand characters in books and plays better than we can understand people. Because there's characters that went around it and explain their eye and that will see them. Humanity, I mean the human condition is very complex. You know, how much do we really know each other? It's one of the toughest things, and people try, people try to figure that out so much. But well, he turns out to be the opposite of what I thought. Well, of course, it's a human being. <laughs> right, so right. We are always evolving, and, and so that's why I like reading characters. I mean, if you read um, Midsummer Night's Dream, read Shakespeare. I've heard about this. Why should I read it? Why? Why not? Everybody should read Shakespeare. You see, you see, see, Brother Patrick. What's, what's happened in my life is that um, even in high school, people were telling me, okay, read this book, but they never told me why I should. Uh, and that is for you to find out, which is fascinating because in life... But I'm lazy, know. just like a lot of people... Yeah, are, don't, are don't, 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 don't make yourself believe that. It might be a condition you have, but it could be changed. <laughs> I got you, I got you. But here's the thing, and you ask a very good question, and I think you should... The moment you know why, yeah. and you're so good.